Hi Tens, it's video time again. Um, so we're going to have a little look at finding area for shapes that aren't um, obviously uh, regular shapes um, with regular formulas. So for example, you might get something like this. Now everybody's brains work a little bit differently. So some people will look at this and they'll go, oh, this is a rectangle here attached to a triangle. So that's one way of looking for things. Um, and so what you can do is you can go, okay, well, the total area, so maybe you write area total is equal to the area of the rectangle plus the area, oops, the area of the triangle. And then you put in your formulas for each one. So you might go length times width plus base times height on two or half times base time height. It doesn't matter which formula you use, they work the same. And then you can substitute in. So for this rectangle, length times width is 10 times six. Plus, looking at my triangle, my base, this bit would be six because 12 takes six would leave me with six here. Okay, so six times height, which is 10 all divided by 2. And then I could add those things together. So I've got 60 plus 60 on 2, which is equal to 90. And I've got no units, so we just write units squared because we're talking area. Alternatively, someone might have looked at it in a slightly different way. They might have looked at it as a big rectangle, subtract a little triangle. So they might have gone, ah, area of the, sorry, total area is equal to area of a big rectangle, take away area of the little triangle. Do that again. <laughs> Can't get my pictures right today. Okay, length times width, Take base height on 2, length times width, 12 times 10, take away, base times height, this bit is a base, so that's 6, height is 10, divided by 2, and we get 120, take away 30, so just because I'm running out of room, which equals 90 units squared. Now, there's a third way that you could look at this shape. And maybe there was a bright cookie that noticed this right at the beginning. This is actually a trapezium. So even though at first I looked at it and I noticed triangles and rectangles, there was an easier way. I could have just gone, oh, this is a trapezium. Now the only thing that didn't really make it clear was it doesn't have these in here to say they're parallel. However, because this is a right angle and this is a right angle, they must be parallel, okay? So the other way of looking at it was to say area of the trapezium is equal to A plus B times height over two. Now A plus B are always the parallel lines. So 12 plus six times the height, and it's always the perpendicular height, all divided by two. Oh, that should so 18 times 10 is 180 divided by 2 is 90 units squared. 